feel right. Use it for writing on. Also good for storage. There's plenty of drawers underneath. Now bureaus are actually a lot more relevant than they used to be. Mostly because we don't use big tower PCs anymore. We're using laptops, tablets, which have about the same footprint in a desk as, as, as an old Victorian writing pad would have done. So suddenly these bits of furniture are becoming useful again. Very useful because of the extra storage they provide. Um, this is going to have a little bit of work done on it. I'll show you specifically what's wrong with it in a second. Um, I'm not going to fully restore it perfectly. I'm just going to mostly just give it a polish over and a wax up. Might replace a couple of pieces of veneer that have gone missing. Um, and just generally give it a bit of a clean over. Uh, but I wanted to just show, show you what the piece is and the condition that it's in now. And I'll do a follow-up video. I'll probably do a video of me actually um, doing a bit of work on it as well. And then a, a final video just to show the finished article before it gets listed online. Because most of what I sell these days, most of my trade is happening online. Thank you very much eBay, Etsy, our own website originantiques.co.uk. Um, we're also on a couple of dealer specific sites as well. Right, so let's get into this. It's a, certainly it appears to me to be a Georgian bureau. These brass plates are on the drawer, drawer, drawer fronts. Scream Georgian style. This is uh, not quite a swan neck handle. In fact, it's a it's a more basic version, so that could, you know, you'd say the more simple it is, the earlier it is. Um, right, looking at the front, so this is mahogany. What we've got here is herringbone inlay. I'll zoom in on that to show you in a second. Cross banded around the edge. Obviously the brass plate to the front with the lock. Now this is called the full it's either a drop flat or the Americans would tend to say a full, full front, although a full front would very often be a vertical one. Extension rails pull out. Now normally there would be a stopper on these fitted about there. Uh, that's obviously come off. So these are pulled all the way out. Normally they would have a stop which would stop them from retracting all the way. That doesn't matter too much for now. We can pull the flat down. As you can see, we've got a bit of internal storage. Tiny little drawers, some pigeonholes. We've got a central lockable cabinet, and that's a nice detail. We might see some other drawers in there. Always worth checking to see if we find any treasure. People do tend to forget things and leave things. Now, very often with these um, bureau, a lot of them were built with secret compartments as well. I can't see any in here, but very often you could pull one of these out to reveal another drawer. Um, or well, there may be a drawer that is cut short with a hidden compartment behind it, for example. I've just seen another drawer. Now, as you can see on the front here, it's a bit rough. That's just dirt. I don't know what or how it's been pockmarked like that, but we will be able to get most of that out with a nice generous application of Carol's Antique Wax by the brands are available. So, the writing top has been inlaid with just a red, a red felt. Would be nice detail to have a bit of leather on there, tooled leather with a bit of gold embossing around the edge. Lends a bit more credibility to the piece. Now, actually, as you might, you might not be able to see at the moment, there is a bit of a kink in this drop leaf where it's just moved over time. It's quite unusual. I don't really see many like that. It's a bit odd. It's like someone. Hit it with a bar. Um, and what that's done is that's translated to a bit of a kink on this writing pad. But it's still a nice, nice detail. Brass hinges here. I see that the pin has popped out a little bit. Um, so let's give you a close up on this. And let's just see if we can zoom in. Here we go. Okay, so 
as I mentioned earlier, you can should be able to just about see on here if I can get the light working. Okay, and can we give it a good image on that? No, because the light is a pain. Okay, if I stand in front of it. Excellent, this is one of my first ever videos too. I'm not sure if you can see, that is a herringbone inlay in the grain there. These are your Georgian style lock plate. As you can see there's a bit of veneer missing here. If we come out again, there is a small bit of veneer missing on that corner there. And lo and behold, a small bit of veneer on this corner here as well. Not a problem. Now you can see with the light as it is, this kink that's in the drop front. I don't know quite why or how that has actually happened, but it has. So we'll have to just work around it. Drop leaf comes down. And you can now get a better look at some of this pock marking that's in here. And it's got quite heavy on those corners there. See the pin? And this hinge has popped out, so we're going to have to quite possibly just unscrew those hinges and uh, either replace them or see if we can get that pin back in there. He's just worked himself loose. Um, and again, the little drawers at the front, as you can see, a small piece of veneer missing there. And the little door, which is here which if I had a key it would be a bit easier to open, so we'll do that in a minute. So yeah, it needs a bit of work. You can see there's some stains and marks to that red felt. It could well do with replacing, as I said earlier. And of course, this is your, so you've got cross banding here, herringbone inlay, and then just your your normal mahogany veneer on the front there. The draw front's nice. Let's just set the camera up here. There we go. So you can see down here's a bit of veneer missing again. It's taken the odd knock and bump here and there. Again, beautiful, really fine herringbone inlay. Satin wood herringbone inlay, so we get contrast with the dark draw front, and then it's just framed nicely with this. We've got cock beading around the outside of the drawers. Let's pull the drawer out. Beautifully dovetailed, hand cut dovetails. And as you can see here, I mean the cock beading is this thick on the bottom part. And then only half the width here, that's to show off the dovetails. It's one of the ways to judge the quality of a, the construction of a piece. And again, nice Georgian. Uh, draw pull handle plate bits. We've got locks in all of these drawers, but I don't have a key for them at the moment. I might be able to find one that will fit and get one cut to fit. Okay, so those are the drawers. We've got one long shallow one across the front. Again, the near missing off of there. Two short drawers and then two long drawers below. You see these have been cut in these lock, well they're not really lock plates. Coming in to disturb my video. Alright, so and then finally finishing up. I don't know if you can see the feet from there. Just quite again quite basic and quite possibly quite early bracket feet on there. Okay, before the cat gets in. Let's just have a look, see, at the back of the piece, we're going to pop it back up on the table and check what we're looking at, because there we go, that should be just about fine there, nicely nice, so I'll just spin it around, okay, very common, I've got to split down the side, this happens to a lot of furniture, it's where the wood has shrunk up over time and decided to take the split there. Not a big deal, we don't worry about that too much. Pedal back. back, again, just looks at the splits where the wood has shrunk. And then let's have a look at the final side. Again, just 
Do it again. Looks like someone's had a crack at. Yeah, someone spliced in a bit here where it's shrunk once before. Um, that's obviously come now. I'll give you a close up on that. And I can see there's glue in there, so someone's had a go at trying to fix it. We've got a little bit loose on the foot there. So let's just check and see if we can get a, a visual on this. Can you see that there? Yeah, someone's basically inset a small piece, a small thin strip. There we go. Small thin strip and it's coming loose again, but that's okay. We can fix it. Let's zoom out. And finally, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. There's a little bit of movement in a piece down here. So we're going to clamp that back and glue it, and that should keep it nice and sturdy. So that's what we're working with. Nice Georgian bureau, plenty of character, seems to be well made. And so now the work will begin. I'm not going to do anything too extreme. I'm going to get a bit of wax on the top here, take out a few scratches and marks. Wax over the front, I've definitely got to wax in here and inside all these cubby holes. Um, and yeah, I do need to get these hinges sorted where the pins come out. So, just doing the basic things and doing them quickly because we need to get items up listed online and ready to sell to you. Right, that's part one.